All right, so now we get to probably the funnest one because everybody's going to have these movies out there. It's the worst movie of the year. Like, the, the movie that you go to the theaters, you come out, you're like, motherfucker, I wasted $10. And that's pretty hard. Um, I do... I've skipped most of the shit that I've heard is horrible. Like, right off the bat, I didn't even go see Hercules. Not the... Not the Dwayne J- J- Johnson one, but the other one. Yeah, I like, didn't. That was before I was even going to movies regularly, and yeah, I yeah, it's just a shit pile. Oh. Exactly. Didn't even go see it. Skipped Exodus. So movies like that aren't going to be on my list. Yeah. Um, but there are two. My honorable mention, not as bad as this one, is Annabelle. Um, Did not see it, unfortunately. I got, or fortunately. <laughs> I don't want to say it's the worst movie of the year, but it just felt like such a Here's just a movie to tide you over to Conjuring 2 and Insidious 3. <laughs> and it was a shame because I thought Insidious 2 was solid enough for, you know, a sequel. Mm-hmm. And Conjuring I loved. So I was standing there like, what the hell? I, I felt like I wasted my money. If I saw it for free, I might not have been as mad. Right. Um, now my movie, my worst movie of the year, and I did see this fucking movie for free. And I still am pissed because <laughs> I wasted my time. <laughs> Ride Along. Holy uh-huh. shit. This movie... <laughs> drove me nuts. Um, I like Kevin Hart. I do. I think he's a funny guy as a supporting cast. Uh, And I do like Ice Cube for the most part, despite his acting suck. You know, he's not that good. Uh, But man, this movie was a mess. It wasn't funny at all, really. It was like two funny parts in the whole movie. And the the pacing was shit. The action scenes look low budget as hell. And this movie went to make millions as like one of the highest grossing comedies of all time. I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, man, this movie is just a piece of shit. It's definitely my worst movie of the year that I've actually seen in person. I'm sure it's worse, but this is the worst <laughs> I've seen all year. Okay. Um, yeah, I didn't see Ride Along either because I think that was another. Don't. I don't plan to. <laughs> Uh, don't see that, and I, I'm not even going to go see Tammy, because I heard that was just as bad. So. Yeah, yeah, that one made a ton of money, too, for some reason. Jeez. <laughs> um, Fat white girls make money. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, for my worst of 2014, uh, I have two honorable mentions. Um, first is Earth Echo. Um, oh, did it really suck that much? I didn't like it at all. It was, I mean, it's a movie for kids, and it's very basic in its story and everything, but I just found myself really bored with it. Most most kids' films I can enjoy for what they are, but uh, this one I was just so bored in. So, um, yeah, and then Tusk is the other one. Um, oh, man. Yeah. That I, is, like, the one of the worst movies I've seen in my life, uh, but I love it at the same time. It's yeah, so I mean, the the costumes and everything, I think you said this in my review, like, the costumes and makeup and everything look phenomenal. Um, yeah. And whatnot, um, with the walrus and everything. But uh, it was just, I think it wasn't really what I was expecting it to be, and so I was really unprepared for what I was going to see. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, it just wasn't, it didn't work for me that well. Um, <laughs> I don't think it works for most. <laughs> um, but the worst movie of the year for me was a film called The Longest Week with um, Jason Bateman in it. Um, I don't remember exactly what it was about this film which pissed me off, but as far as I remember, like it just didn't seem to have any purpose for being a movie because by the Wait, end of the just a movie about. Uh, their dad dying? No, no, that was, um, this is where I leave you. Um, this okay. one is with Jason Bateman, Olivia Wilde, um, and some other guy. Um, and it's about, what? I don't think I've seen this one. Yeah. Or heard of it. Yeah, it might have been a limited release, but it was at the Mall of America Theater, where I go to see most of my movies. Um, and I saw it, I'm like, oh, this is going to be good. It's got Jason Bateman, Olivia Wilde, and the story will be good. Um, uh, this, by, that? by the end of it, I was just so pissed I had seen it because uh, it just, by the end of the film, like nothing really happens, and the whole the whole plot of the movie is completely unnecessary. And to, by the time that the end happens, and uh, it just it just annoyed me more than any other film 
this year. I, I guess it was so bad that I didn't even hear this movie, and I basically <laughs> look up. I, I even know about the fucking Zach Braff movie, so I look up just about every movie, and I never yeah. heard of this movie. And I love yeah. Jason Bateman. Yeah, I mean, wow. I do too. Like when I saw this is where I leave, I was like, please let this be better. And, and it was better, definitely. Oh yeah, but, it, it, that had problems, but that was a pretty enjoyable movie for yeah. what it was. Kind of depressing black comedy. Yeah. Um, all right, so that's our worst movies, and that these are pretty bad movies. So if if you're listening to us at all, don't go and see <laughs> these movies because they are a waste of time, money, and life. Yeah. And those are three things you really want in this life. <laughs> all right, so that's it for worst movies of 2000.